G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review, a, su a surprise one. Uh, yeah, sorry Manny and sorry Hatch for not bringing out the subscriber choice one of the Aliens or 88 yet. I will get them out by Wednesday and I'll tell you the reason why in a minute. Anyway, so yeah, I've managed to find this, I've never seen them in the stores before. It's Admiral Akbar. And the First Order Officer, 6-inch Toys R Us 2-pack, Black Series. Very pretty cool. Pretty nice indeed. And quick look at the box. Toys R Us Signal. Insignia there. Something exclusive. Nice pictures in the back. Now, also, here comes where it's weird. It doesn't really give off much if it's from Force Awakens or from The Last Jedi. Admiral Akbar. Grand Admiral in the New Republic, winning many victories, including the pivotal Battle of Jakku. He retired to Mon Cala, but was coaxed back into service with the Resistance by Leia Organa. That's Adam Lakbar. Sorry, I'm not getting any reading on this. Uh, I'll just read it out. The officers of the First Order military forces showing unwavering allegiance to Supreme Leader Snoke, leading his massive armies and fleet in a relentless drive to dominate the galaxy. Now, it doesn't mention anything about the Star Killer or anything like that from Force Awakens. At first I thought they were Force Awakens, but they're not. Well, he could be. So anyway, I'll, I will pull aside and go to... Move that out of the way. Let's go to First Order Officer. Now, he, to me, this looks like anyone. Uh, Sergeant Stanley Regular. It doesn't look like anyone in the face, or whatever. But looks nice. So eh? the only problem is the helmet. Let's get a quick squeeze. It's got a bit of a bend in it. Oops, that's not going to work, is it? There's a bit of a rumple in the plastic, like it's melted. See on the helmet, the little cap thing's meant to just fold out just a little, just a little bit, and that's okay. And it's got insignia badges there. Lieutenant symbol on his arm. Hard to see. Also pretty hard to stand. It does come with a basic weapon. I'm not getting any focus today, am I? Not at all. So anyways, I actually found, I think, who they modelled him off. <coughs> One sec, I'm just... Shit. This guy. Fucking slap flat. Jesus. Lieutenant Mitaka. What do you reckon? Rank cylinders. Same band, lieutenant band on his arm. The only thing it doesn't have is the holster, the gun holster. Which is what he's got there. Oh, Jesus, I am not getting any focus today, am I? Really not. Come on. That maybe I don't know. I'll tell you what would have been better in the packet if they use this dude, a fleet engineer. How cool does he look? He's like the Star Killer slash finalizer Death Star gunner. Nice if they made him. Should do a video and just flip through this book and show what they should have made. Anyways, enough of that. So yeah. He's a pretty nice figure. I like him. Except for that little bit of a melty bit on his hat. His hat has come off, so to speak. A pretty groovy colouring system happening on his head. Eyebrows look a little bit skew with, but they're not too bad. So there we go. Now, I sort of figured out why. Admiral Akbar, I thought, yeah, this is the 
This is a new resistance and a lap bar from the Force Awakens. Now I was this, I just thought, yeah, that's just what it is, you know. <clears throat> that's him, that's what it does, that's who he is. But then, okay, it comes with a weapon. Same sort of, one of those, I forget the name of it, DC Blaster. I was going to do a comparison, but boom, there's a comparison. Totally, oh, fuck you. Totally different figure. Well, not different figure. Different outfit. I'm oh, really not getting focused today, am I? There we go. So, also came with a different gun. This guy, he's got all the multi articulation. This Force Awakens one doesn't, except for he's got the his mouth. So I can do mouth opens and shuts. This one doesn't. Still, it's got great detail. Fantastic detail. Love it. Very, very cool. Here's the Admiral Insignia. Yeah, different clothing. It's reward Force Awakens. That must be what he wears in The Last Jedi. That's cool. And again, being a Fort. Again, being a Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm just gonna fit this damn thing on. Hard to stand. Yeah, but all these are pretty solid figures, but they don't stand too well. Right. Okay. So, yeah, reason I'm not doing any other videos is because oh, I have a house inspection on Wednesday morning, so I want a place to be as tidy as all hell. So, sorry, Manny, and sorry, Hatch. I will get them out to you on Wednesday either. Also, I might manage to pick up a couple of extra cards from Toys R Us. I won't do full reviews of them. I'm going to wait till I get some more shelves to hang these up. They're quite nice. Cards are as bendy as hell. <coughs> also, a funny thing at Toys R Us, this is how I'll talk about Toys R Us sales and then I'll talk about Hasbro distribution so this is what you get for 25 bucks two for 25 it mentioned I oh, thought beauty I'll grab that took him to the counter along with my Admiral Akbar and first order officer and she charged me uh, $15 a piece and I went no 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 25 bucks for the both and she went nope they don't appear, that, that, those pictures don't appear in the catalogue, those figures don't appear in it. I said, I said, what does it say down the bottom? Force of, uh, Last Jedi Wave 1. These belong in Last Jedi Wave 1. Wave 2 is not even available yet. And, now, and she was, oh man, I gave her a hard question, didn't I? And she just went, oh, oh. She, her head nearly exploded. <clears throat> Tried to explain to her that I know what I'm talking about, I'm not trying to rip her off. It's only five bucks for God's sake. But you know, that's how Toys R Us work. I and mean, again, of course, with ex exclusivity, you know. Some people are nowhere near a Toys R Us to buy these things. I'll end up spending more money online. This goes with GameStop, which pissed me off because I can't pick up the Supreme Leader Snoke, and it also goes with Walmart exclusives, what not, I think it's pretty bad. It's pretty poor taste for us collectors to, and a bit of a punch in the guts. But anyways, I do like these figures. I'm happy to get them, and also when it comes to distribution, yeah, if you go to the, if you go to, um, the ACT in Australia, Toys R Us, they've got dozens of them. There you go, distribution. Probably the rest of Australia hasn't got them, I don't know. No idea. Anyways, I'm not going to rant anymore. Um, this will be it. So yeah, I like these figures. They're going in my shelf straight away. They'll go as Force Awakens figures for now. Anyway, guys, I hope you all liked. Um, drop comments down below. Let me know how the distribution, exclusivity, exclusivity and whatnot happens in sales at certain stores. How it affects you. Either way, good or bad, I don't mind. Alright guys, we're going to hit the 10 minute mark.
more videos coming up on Wednesday. And if you want to see anything else, for my subscriber's choice, drop a comment down below. We'll be done. Alright guys, all the best. Sci-fi out. The Force is with you. Always.